Hey town team coaches, we wanted to let you know as a board that we have purchased some fence mounts in order for you to go ahead and live stream your baseball or softball games. And I'm gonna show you how we got that little thing set up right there. Now in the box, there's several pieces, but you'll be able to essentially do a little bit of assembly where you have the fence clamp here. Um, this can clamp right onto one little square of the fence. This then is gonna be uh, screwed into one end of the arm. So this section here comes in one piece. You'll see it in the box. You just put the fence clamp into one end, clamp it on, and then you can really maneuver this arm in a lot of different ways. You can also loosen this part as well in order to bend and maneuver that way. And then the top piece that you're gonna put in there is gonna be the phone clamp. And this is where you're gonna put your phone in there. And then I'll show you how to essentially set it up in Game Changer to go ahead and do the live stream. All right, hey everyone, just as a quick tutorial here that shows you how to set up a live streaming for any of your ball games. Um, it's important to note that in order to do this, you have to have two devices that have a cellular connection of some kind, whether that's two phones, uh, some iPads. If your iPad has a cellular connection, you could certainly use that, but you have to have two devices connected to a cell signal of some kind. And in this case, the device here on the left is going to be the live or the live streaming device. And then the one on the right is gonna be the one that's gonna be used to keep score for the game. So in this, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up Game Changer on both devices. And so um, on the device on the left, if you already have it set up where if you're a staff member on the team, then you're gonna see any upcoming games here at the very top that pop up right at the very start when you open it, that might say, oh, these are the games happening today. Maybe you wanna go ahead and start scoring it or go live with it. But you'll have the two big buttons, one blue for scoring the game, one red for going live. Now, I'm gonna go down below just to show you what it looks like from here. And I've created a test team uh, right here. And when I do that, you're not necessarily going to see any, any games set up for the day. So I gotta make sure I set up a game of some kind to be determined, starts, doesn't really matter. Uh, nope, today, the start time, we'll just say it starts at noon and duration an hour to save. We just need a, we just need a test game is all we need. So here's our first game. Um, so the device on the left is going to be the one that is essentially going to be live streaming. Now, it's important to note that when I go to the team tab uh, right next to schedule, when I click on team, you're going to see all the players and I've added 10 players in there. And you'll see the people that are listed as the staff members. You can only have four people as a staff member on a team. And in this case, the top one is going to be um, me, uh, which is the device on the left-hand side. And then the bottom one that's just the letters JB is going to be the device that's on the left or the right-hand side here, the one that's keeping the score. So I have both of the devices under my name with two separate accounts but if you wanted to, you could have, I'll show you an example here if I go home and I go to the four or five boys team and I go to team, you'll notice I have four people there. Any of those people can use their device to live stream or they could also keep score on their device for live stats for parents. So I'm gonna go back to the test. So that's how that kind of sets up. The other thing you're probably gonna wanna make sure you take a look at is at the gear in the upper right-hand corner. If I tap there, you are going to see that the third option down is broadcasting permissions. If I tap on that right now, the only people who can broadcast or essentially um, live keep score or live stream are people who are only confirmed or sorry, people uh, who are confirmed members. That means anybody who is a staff member, a family member or a player can broadcast the games. Now, that could be beneficial because any parent who shows up to the game that night who is willing to, let's say, donate their phone for the game and use it as a live streaming device is totally fine. But what I've noticed or what I've found out in the past is when you do that, the parents that are at home or can't make it to the game or whatever it might be, 
once they have permission, if the game's starting, they see that big red button that says go live, they tap on it, and now they're live streaming their living room. Uh, you probably don't want that. So what I do is I switch this option to only staff. So that way, only the four people who are designated as staff members can be the ones to live stream. And it just, you know, you don't want to see people's living room. So, and they don't want to show you their living room, but they don't know any better and they tap on it and it is what it is. So that is what you're going to want to take a look at there and switch over. You're also going to want to take a look at, um, if you want to, at any given time, you always have underneath broadcasting permissions, you have this practice scoring a game option. And when you do, it's going to put in some random names. It's going to have everything set up and you can literally just start practicing how to score a game. The pitch was a ball. Next one was a called strike. Next one was a called strike. And then they went swing and a miss. And now it automatically tracks out number one. The next one, the kid puts the ball in play. It's a ground ball. There is an out at first. Uh, the third baseman got the ball and he threw it to first and I click done and now the out is at first. So you can certainly use this option and it's, it doesn't track anything. It's just a kind of a play around, figure it out, kind of get used to some of the stuff that you can do. If I want to switch out a player like the first baseman or maybe the pitcher, I tap on the pitcher and I can say, oh, yeah, Martin at the very bottom, number 41, is coming in to pitch. Uh, is Martin batting for that person in nine spot? Yep, that's correct. OK, now they switched it out. So lots of options that you could do to practice with all of that. But if I go up to the top where it says menu and I'm just going to exit that current game and it takes me back to my options. I'm going to X out of this in the upper left hand corner. And now let's get to our actual live streaming. So we have the schedule, which is on the far left side here. When I tap on that, we have the game. I tap on the game, I get some options. Now the device on the left, as I said, is the one that is gonna be going live. It's doing the live streaming, okay? And so the one on the right is gonna be actually keeping the score. So over here, I'm gonna tap on the team. I am going to go to team, and because you'll notice that I am a staff member, I can actually score the game. So I go to schedule, I tap on the game, and now the one on the left is going to be the one to keep this, uh, do the live stream. So I'll tap there, and when I do, it gives me some options. Do I want to use this device or an external device? I'm going to use the external device. When I mount this on the fence mount, I want to make sure that um, you know first and third base is in the image. The best one that I found is using point one, if you have it mounted on the backstop. In most cases, point one is going to be what you want. But essentially, you want to see first base on the right hand side, third base on the left hand side. Your catcher and your umpire is going to be there, and once you have the whole field sort of in the screen you know you're mounted up ready to go on the backstop and then you can go ahead and broadcast live you before you broadcast live in the lower right hand corner you can switch this from who your audience is going to be just the members of your team or if you switch it to anyone we're able to watch the live stream full event video and video clips share the link outside the app if you just want to share the link to the video on your facebook page or whatever it may be then you can tap that option and now Anyone who has the link can go ahead and watch the game. And then essentially you're going to say start live broadcast. Now I'm live broadcasting this and that's okay because this is a made up team. There are no other people a part of this team and we're just fine. But this is only going to be a live stream. There's going to be nothing else included with this other than video. But if I go on the right hand side and now I'm using this device to score the game and I'm going to tap on that big blue button. When I do, it's going to say which team is batting first. We'll just say it's us. And right now, I don't have a batter set up. So I'm going to set the batter, and it's going to be test number one is going to be the hitter. The pitcher, I've noticed that their pitcher is jersey number five. So I'm going to add that player. And now I can go ahead and score the game. 
It was a ball. It was a called strike. It was a ball in play. Uh, let's say it was um, fly ball. And in fact, it was a home run, which would be rather unfortunate where the home run was hit. The home run was hit and the center field, boom, out of the park, home run. You'll notice on the video, what people are going to see is they're going to see an update to the score. They're going to see an update to uh, the pitch count and all of that. You see that it just updated right there. So <clears throat> this is what the live stream will look like to your audience, to your parents, is it'll have the score, the pitch count. You can also see in the lower right hand corner how many people are currently watching the game. Right now it's zero because there are no other people on this team. You can also see the streaming signal. And right now we're good, we're healthy. So people are getting a nice clean stream and they're able to see the game very well. On the lower left hand corner, this is where you can change your camera view if you have different lenses on the back of your camera. But the microphone is also going to be where you can mute the game, which means you can't hear any of the crowd or the cheering or anything like that. You also can't hear any of the chatter because any people who are sitting behind the backstop who are talking, you are probably going to hear them if the microphone is on. So if you don't want that, you can certainly mute the mic. And this, where it says share stream in the lower right hand corner, is where you can share the link to wherever you want. Um, in the right hand side, next batter is up. We'll say it's test number two. And we're ready to do the pitching and all of that. So as the game goes on, you need these two devices in order to make the game stream work properly, in order to get the video and the stats with it. And what's nice is when both of these things are synced up together like this, um, it'll actually create clips of all the, the good plays, the outs, the home runs, the base, the base rips, all that stuff. It'll create separate clips for those once the game is done. So to end the game, I'm gonna go ahead and hit menu on the scorekeeping. And I'm just gonna say game over skip and finalize the game and then over here on the left hand side i should see in a second that the game was in fact ended uh but maybe it doesn't end the game and i if it doesn't then in the upper right hand corner i can tap right on end and then i'm going to end the live video your video has ended close so now what i can see is a recap of the game um if I go to video, I can get a full live video of the game as well as video clips. There's the home run. And this is a feature I think that's only available to those that pay the, I think it's $7.99 a month um, for the premium account for Game Changer. I do it because if that's my kid who hit the home run, if I tap on those three dots, oops, oh, that's full event. I don't want the full event. I want the video clip. So the home run, if I tap on the three dots, I can hit share clip. And now I can actually share the clip with whoever I want, or I can go ahead and save it to my phone. Once it's done creating the clip, I can save video and it'll save it to my phone just like that. And now I can watch it again year after year if I want. Uh, as far as everything else, I'm gonna hit the exit game here. And now the game is closed out. If you are doing a double header, it is going to be important to know that on a double header, you're going to have to create another game. You're going to have to add another event. So by going in, punching the same information you had before, you can do another game. So I would only live stream per game, not per night, because double headers are going to require two games in a night. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Otherwise, I think that should be simple enough. And I hear my dogs barking, so we're going to end it there.